In this video, we'll talk about what is the difference between debug and release. Now, before I go ahead and I talk about debug and release, let me talk about two important phases or two important things, you know, which happens when you develop .NET applications or software application. The first thing what happens is the programmer goes and he writes some code. He actually goes and develops the application. He opens Visual Studio, you know, you know, he does the development thing, right? Once the application is developed, you know, this code is then pushed to production. So the program goes and he builds that application. He takes those DLLs or EXEs, whatever it is, and he pushes it to production. Now debug and release are nothing but, you know, they are build modes. So, you know, you will use the debug mode, you know, when you are actually writing your code or when you're developing the application. And you will use the release mode, you know, when you want to go live or when you want to push your DLLs and EXEs or whatever is your fully compiled code, you know, to production. Now, both of these phases or I'll say both of these build modes have their own priority. For example, when you are in the debug mode or I'll say rather when you are doing development, the most important thing for you is debugging. You'd like to go and debug the code properly. You'd like to go and ensure that you can see the full information of what's happening inside the code. So over there, you know, you, you are not concerned with performance, but you are rather concerned with debugging. But if you are in the production phase or I'll say if you're in the release mode, the most important thing for you is not tracking errors, but the most important thing for you is running the application as fast as you can. In other words, performance is your main priority. So the biggest difference between debug and release mode is that in debug mode, the code is not optimized while in release mode, the code is optimized. Uh, in order to understand this difference, right, let's go and see a simple example. Now, remember that this is the first difference. There is one more difference and which I will talk later on. But what we'll do is let's first try to see that, you know, how the code is optimized, uh, you know, between debug and release. So let me just go back to my Visual Studio here. So I'm going to go and flip back to my Visual Studio. And what we'll do here is um, let me go and uh, create some functions here. So I'll go and create some methods here, like let's say M1. I'll create one more method called as must be M2. And I'll create one more method called as M3. And uh, from the main right, you call let's say M1. Okay, this M1 calls M2 and the M2 calls M3. Okay. And in M3, what I'll do is I'll just go and throw up exception here. I'll tell you what exactly I'm doing. I'll throw up exception here saying, you know, some error. Right. Now, if you watch this code very closely, let me just make you understand this code first. First thing, this, this static void main will run. The main will go and run the M1 function. From the M1 function, the M2 function is called. From the M2 function, the M3 function is called. And inside the M3 function, an uh, exception is raised. And, you know, this exception is then propagated to the static void main. Now, you know, as a developer, when you are developing this application, you'd like to know the complete stack trace of the error. You'd like to know, okay, you know, which function was called. After that, you know, on in which function the error was and what was the sequence of the calling of those methods right so as a developer you'd like to get a complete stack trace information so if you go and run this application now in a debug mode if you do a control f5 here and if you watch very closely i'll just go and do a zoom here okay now if you watch very closely here you can see because i have ran the application in a debug mode he's telling me yes you know the first thing which ran was this static void main from the static void main, then M1 was called, M1 then called M2, M2 then called M3, and inside M3, you know, there was an exception. So you can see that, you know, as a, you know, uh, you know, for a developer, he has given a complete stack trace information, and that's what you want, right? When you're doing development, you'd like to get a complete stack trace information. But now, if you go and select release over here if i go and select release and if i do a control f5 here now now this is interesting if you watch this closely you can see that he is not displaying the stack trace he's just saying that yes you know some error, error has occurred and this is what the error is and why it is doing it because in release mode 
he has to ensure that the application you know is faster and if you want the application to be fast faster then you know he should not be tracking any kind of stack trace information so the biggest difference between debug and release mode is that in debug mode the application is is mainly meant for debugging for seeing errors while in release mode the most important priority for the application is performance so that is the first difference that you know the code is optimized you know in release mode at, as compared to the debug mode now the second important difference is that in release mode you know when you go and compile your project in release mode all the debug symbols are removed now what do we mean by debug symbols now for example you know let's say that you have application here and in this application we say console dot write line okay let's say this is your application this is your application okay now many times you know the developer can go and write you know some code you know which he does not want to go and ship in production for example you know he can write here saying console dot write line uh, just display me date time now you know just the developer wants to see this date time now but you know this code he does not want to push in production this code should only run in development okay so for that what the developer can do is he can use the debug symbols he can go here and say if debug right then only go and use this code right uh, and if okay now what will happen is you know this code which you see over here you know will run only in uh, debug mode in other words if i go and select debug over here and if i do a control f5 here you know you can see that uh, there is some problem here if debug this is caps so if i do a control f5 here you can see i am seeing the date time now over here right if i go and change this to release now if i go and select a release over here here and if i do a control f5 you can see that i cannot see the date and time so the second difference you know between debug and release is that all these debug symbols you know which the developer has put for his uh, you know uh, own benefit or i'll say you know for his own ease is removed when we go and compile the code in release mode so two big differences between debug and release first one release code is optimized second one all the debug symbols you know which are which are there for which are there during development are removed you know when you go to the release mode or when you go live so i hope that you enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to understand what exactly is the difference between debug and release mode uh, in visual studio thank you so much